In this quick start video, I will show you how to export to .rs and .nc. Once you are done drawing your port and routing it, you want to export your design into a format that a CNC machine can understand and machine your port. .rs stands for route script and it is a format that the route bot CNC controller understand. .nc stands for numerical control and it is G code a format that most CNC controller in the world understand, including the RouteBot CNC controller. Before we start exporting, we have designed and routed a motor mount that is made of an aluminum sheet that is 63,000 of an inch. Now, each routed element is 70,000 of an inch, so it is a little bit deeper than the aluminum sheet that we want, that we have, which means that our cutting tool will go through the cutting sheet and give us this small amount. Now, before we export, we must specify the depth of cut per pass. To specify the depth of cut per pass, we go to the machine menu and we click on depth of cut. We see two things, the depth and the single depth of cut. The depth is the current depth of the, the current depth of cut. If we change this number, it will not affect the depth of cut of any elements in the drawing because this element the, the depth of cut of the element in our drawing uh, have been saved with our drawing and it is a property of each element. The only way we can we can change this element, the, the depth of cut, is by changing the attributes of these elements. Now, if we draw a new line, it will take the new depth of cut that we have defined in, in this uh, window. Now, the depth of cut per pass is how deep the cutting tool will go in the material for every pass of the cutting tool. In this case, we want to have we want to have two passes. So we know that the depth of cut that we have defined was seventy thousand of an inch divided by two. That gives us thirty-five thousand of an inch, and this is how deep the cutting tool will go per pass. So the cutting tool will go the first pass and do all the routing. It will go down in the material 35,000 of an inch. And the second pass, it will go another 35,000 of an inch to give us the total 70,000 of an inch that we want. Now we are ready to export. We just go to machine and we click on export.rs and G code we get a message telling us that uh, we must define the depth of cut per pass and the rest of the message is telling us that we must properly define the routing before exporting. We've done all that, so we can click on OK. And now we will, um, uh, we will save the .rs. We don't need to put the extension because Route CAD will put that RS automatically. We correct more mount. We can correct more mount, uh, more mount three and save. And also we save the .nc file, which is the G code. We can give it the same name. It will be different because the extension is different. And we click on save. Now we can have a look at uh, how this file look like into any text editor. So we will minimize RouteCAD. Now we've already opened a text editor to show you this, uh, uh, how it looks like. 
Let's look at the G code, the .nc file. We can see the G code, how all the command of the G codes are, the, uh, are in the file, including the line number. Okay. And uh, for curiosity, we can also look at the .rs. The .rs is a more compact format. The routebot CNC controller can understand both the .rs and the .nc, uh, both route script and the G code. But uh, G code is more widely used. So if your CNC uh, understand G code, all you need to do is to use the, the .nc. You don't need to use the .rs. If you're using the routebot CNC controller, you can use either .rs or .nc. Um, .rs is more compact, so uh, it will be slightly uh, faster to load, but uh, the end uh, machining result will be the same.